Anyway, hello everyone. It's Rick Basic, Flatfish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today we'll be tying a uh, little leech pattern. Um, this is a it's a fun little pattern. Um, you just got to make sure you tie it uh, correctly. Um, if you don't do, there's one little step, and you'll see when we're going. If you don't do that little step, you'll this will foul around the hook a lot. So um, you got to make sure you do this step. So, but we'll go through that as we go. So. In the vise today, we have an A-Rex FW563 in a size 8. Okay. Um, for the thread, I'm going to be using some Semperflag Classic Waxed in the Pale Olive. There you go. Um, for the uh, tail, we're going to be using some, or wing, whatever you want to call it, uh, Micro Mink Zonkers in Olive. Um, for the um, body, we'll be using some Semperfly mirror tinsel. And for the head area, I'll be using some Hens CDC in olive. Alrighty, let's get her going. Start the thread behind your, behind your eye. Come all the way back to the bend. Now sometimes I'll put a little hot spot on the end here, a little orange or a little red tag on the end. In this case, I'm not going to. Come back forward to about there. You want to leave a little bit of room to tie in your, your wing. I take my mirror tinsel. I'm just going to add it in here. Just bring it back all the way to the bend. And then back forward again, leaving a room at the front. In slightly overlapping wraps, come all the way forward to where you've stopped with your thread. And tie that off. I'm just gonna turn my vise just so I can get to my. Alrighty, so there is the body and that just gives a little bit of sheen to it that's all it does okay so now I'm just gonna nip off a piece of this micro I'm tying a bunch more so so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just expose a little tiny bit of that leather in the front like that like so okay here I'll show you the upper upside there so just a little tiny bit and I'm gonna tie that in right to the eye but I want to make sure this stays right up on top of the fly. And right to the eye there. Okay. And then come back, forth, a couple of three times. And then this is the part I was talking about. you got to make sure that you go under this tail and over and under this tail and over. That'll help hold this up and not foul as often. Okay. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it roughly the length I want it. I want this about that long. So I'm just going to go in here and just get just cut the leather itself. See, and that'll give that nice little tail right where there's no no patch on. It'll move nicely. You don't want to cut all the hair and everything. Okay. Now I want to do a dubbing loop. Make sure I've got that in nicely. Then I'm going to wax my dubbing loop, put my dubbing spinner wherever the heck I threw it. In, and I've already got some CDC cut uh, in my clamp. I haven't cut it off yet, which I'm going to do right now. Just cutting it off the stem. Obviously, I don't want the stem pieces, right? So this is three CDC feathers in here. Hopefully, I can grab all these. We'll find out. There you go. Slowly spin that. Sure, they're sticking out nicely. Got a fan of that piece there. There we go. So, make 
make sure that's all spun up nice. I'm just gonna wrap it, wrap it, until I get to my CDC. And then now that I'm at the CDC, I'm gonna start making sure I stroke that all back. I don't wanna trap it. It just popped off my spinner. I just have to do this by hand. Okay, just make sure that CDC is all laying back. And I will take this right up to the eye because I'm gonna, I'll force it back with the thread. So now I'm gonna stroke it all back and then go right almost on top of it there. And just build a slight little head. And whip finish. And nip her off. I'll go back and put some cement on that, but I'm just going to brush that out. Make sure that all is brushed out when I cut off my thread for my dubbing loop. And then just brush that all out. And there is your little, uh, your little CDC minky. That's it. A little bit of flash in there when that gets wet, that little underbody will be seen through it. Right, and then that 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 uh, that um, micro mink zonker will move like crazy, and so will that CDC. CDC will move, right? So, righty, and the CDC is also when it when it's underwater, it picks up those little air bubbles, and it'll 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 flash almost. It's not quite, but it'll it'll be a bit of an attractant. So, I make these in fairly long to a little bit shorter. Like this one's a little bit shorter, right? So. I do make them in various lengths. I do like the slightly longer ones because I can always cut a piece of that leather and a little piece and a little piece if I'm getting false hits, right? I can always cut that out in the water. I can't make this longer, so. Alrighty, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, that one's a, it's a fun one to tie um, and it's a, a very effective pattern in the lakes. Just, and time in, in uh, green and in black is the ones I found work the best. Uh, just uh, remember that step, go under that head, uh, go under that that wing. If you don't do that, this will have a tendency of wanting to foul. Alrighty? Tie lines, everybody. We'll see you guys on the next tying video.